and the whole society is against it today. But maybe tomorrow with this Maya, this horrible devil Maya, which is anti-Maya, will work out and maybe that nobody will mind it. It may be. If you people do not hold it right into your hands, the culture side of such, I don't know what's going to happen. If you read newspaper every day, you feel really dizzy, you don't understand in what Maya these people are lost. So it's an anti-Maya, because Maha-Maya has come, so anti-Maya has come. Fifty years back or sixty years back, it was not that bad, I can tell you. Once in a while people used to do something nonsensical, but now it is rampant. But it now has become a fashion. It's worse than that is that accepted as a fashion and if you are not in it, you are out. You have to be in the madhouse. You should see this clearly because now you have come into the Maya of God. Maya also means love, love, the God's love. And in that your eyes should open out and see what horrible things this they are doing. What is this disco? You know, in India they brought a disco. And of course, some boys who were Muslims actually were rich and uh, they carried young girls because in this school the law was that you must bring a partner. Young girls who were adults, maybe not be adults also, and started giving them alcohol, drinking, and they got lost. The parents wouldn't accept them, they had to go to brothels or they were sold out. Or I don't know what happened to them. But that is the reaction in that country. It may be one day they will be accepted, one day we'll have the same thing because it has such a overpowering effect. And that's why the Maya of God is such, this, all these beautiful things are there. So you can get lost with it, you can see it, you can picture it, you can paint it. But no, they are not, they are not interested. They'll make this also ugly. They'll make every picture ugly. They'll make every face ugly. So this is the anti-Maya that is there. And for that you need a Mahamaya to correct it and to solve the problem. The <coughs> complete working of the Divine depends on you people, wherever you are. How many you are is not the point, wherever you are how intense you are, how you want to work it out, how you want to put uh, uh, your attention to. It's very important how you are going to do it because you people should understand the responsibility. This world is getting drowned and I feel that at least eighty percent people will be finished. Ten would be hanging in between in limbo, I think. Really? And ten percent will be Sajuk is the way it is moving in the West. Maybe in India may not be, I can't say. India is very fast moving Sajuga. Also Russia and all these Eastern Bloc people are just jumping into it. I don't know how they have discovered me so easily. They say my face is evident, I don't know what makes them think. The another Maya is of power and the power of money, if they can avoid, then they try to have power over territory of the land, this, that. That also made them mad quite a lot in the past, but now they are all fighting for some nonsensical land which will never belong to them. It stays here permanently, eternally, but the fights are going on. Then in the name of religion they are fighting for this area, that area, or they are fighting for, say, just for uh, changing their religion or getting more people in that religion. I don't know what is their idea of religion is. Is religion meant for that? Just think of it. Nobody thinks like that. What is it meant for? So here again the Mahamaya has to work. And the Mahamaya works this way that she integrates all the religions. She shows that all religions are the same have the same spirituality, is on the same tree of spirituality they have grown. Instead of making people spiritual, they have made them money-oriented or they have made them power-oriented. 
I mean, it's the other way around. It's like the tree growing underneath or something, something absurd that you cannot explain. And that is the thing is that elusive, that elusiveness is called Maya. And this elusiveness appeals to many people, appeals, that's the point I am worried about. Something is elusive, then they go on running after that like a mirage and ultimately they are destroyed. So what you see a picture just now is that at least so many ten percent people will be saved at the most. But it is a very sad affair because it has taken so much effort to make human beings, to make them all right, to make them sensible and now what you find is that they are going to be all finished. It is too much to bear, too much to believe in, but it is going to happen if you people do not take it up seriously and work it out.